is the day this is the day that the lord has made that the lord has made i will rejoice i will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it this is the day this, this is, is the day, day that, that the Lord has made. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Teresa of Jesus, a virgin and doctor of the church. She's also known as St. Teresa of Avila. Uh, she was one of the be uh, beautiful mystic. Uh, she had wonderful experiences of the revelation of God. She opened her heart so much to our Lord Jesus Christ. So you and I, as we celebrate her Memorial Day, we have to open our hearts every day to our Lord Jesus Christ and to love him and let Jesus Christ be our friend always. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Ever Mary Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, 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 Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, mercy, mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who through your spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show the church the way to seek perfection, grant that we may always be nourished by the food of her heavenly teaching and fired with longing for true holiness. Grant this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the holy ones who are in Ephesus, and faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In Christ, we have 
redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accordance with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times. To sum up all things in Christ in heaven and on earth, the word of the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made his salvation. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law. You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourself did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left the scribes and the Pharisees, began to act with hostility towards him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Paul is reminding us this morning and in fact every day of our lives that God chose us in Christ even before the foundation of the world. Because remember, when God created the world, he created one creature which was in his own image, that is 
man and woman, that is you and every human being, we are created in God's image. So he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world. But sometimes we forget who we are. And that's why St. Paul is reminding us about keeping the spirit of God and let Jesus Christ be the center of our lives. Christ has revealed God in fullness. We know God through the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, when he was on earth, he promised to his apostles, I'll send you the paraclete, the advocate, the Holy Spirit. And that spirit has come in our lives. And we should not forget about that spirit because it reminds us of who we are and it helps us to remain that we are a chosen people of God. We are chosen through our Lord Jesus Christ. And I think that's why in the gospel, Jesus Christ was challenging the Pharisees, the scribes, and all the elders of the people because he understands even today that leadership matters so much in the lives of the people. Leadership can lead people to goodness, but also leadership can lead people to division and destruction. So he warned uh, the Pharisees, the scribes, that you have the key and yet you do not use it well. And I think that is also a message to us. You and I, in a way, as Christians, we have some leadership, especially among the young people, the children. They need guidance. They need good leadership. That comes from the Spirit of God. That comes from the Spirit of Christ. You know, Jesus Christ loves us all. And all the time, he would give an example of a child of how we should be faithful to God. He loved the children. You know, we remember in the gospel, he took a child and showed to his apostles, whoever is like this child is worthy in the eyes or in the fullness of God's kingdom. That is our faith. That's what St. Paul is talking about. So as leaders in our faith, we need to guide each other. We need to bring the spirit of Christ to one another. But like I say, more so to the children in this world, because the children, they depend on the leadership of us adults, teachers, mothers, um, all elders. They need our support so that they grow to be good citizens of the nation, to be good people of God's mission. That is our message to them, the message that we receive from St. Paul and our Lord Jesus Christ. Let Jesus Christ be the center of our lives. Let us, him be our leader so that we learn from him in our leadership for one another. Let us now stand and offer our petitions and intercession to the Lord. Paul's moving hymn of praise of Jesus Christ Help us to understand and appreciate our human and Christian dignity, for we have been chosen in Christ. We pray for Catholics who are involved in many community organizations of service to others, that they will see such voluntary work as an appreciation of their faith and be carried out with kindness and respect for others. We pray to the Lord for the gift of love that living as the adopted children of God, we may act and think and speak like Christ. We pray to the Lord. For all who take their faith seriously, that St. Teresa of Avila, wise and sensible, prayerful and active, will continue to inspire each person in their Christian living with special prayer for the Carmelite sisters. We pray to the Lord. For all religious women in our church, that we will appreciate the incredible contribution which they make to the spirit of their local communities, especially in the times of drought, fires, and floods, we pray to the Lord. 
for all the sick in our parish, that through our prayers, they may continue to experience the healing presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Gracious God, may those who tell the good news to others do so with deep faith and compassionate love. Grant all this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of man's hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of man's hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May our offerings, O Lord, be acceptable to your majesty, to whom the devoted service of St. Teresa was pleasing in such great measure through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of us, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Until you come, until you come, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring us the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed, uh, with blessed uh, Joseph, our, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostle and Glorious Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may present glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Jesus taught us to call God as our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, as you are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and the gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Say 
sanctuary pure and holy tried and true and with thanksgiving I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary pure and holy tried and true and with thanksgiving I'll be a living sanctuary for you for you for you let us pray Grant, O Lord, our God, that your obedient family, whom we have fed with the bread of heaven, may follow the example of St. Teresa of Jesus and rejoice to seeing of your mercies of all eternity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. The Mass is ended. We end this Mass by singing, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, Still I will follow, though no one join me, still I will follow, no turning back, no turning back, I have decided to follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning.